Hello guys, we are back with another brand new video. I'm Josh from Wondershare Demo Creator. If our videos are helpful and you're getting value in any way, click the subscribe button now to show us some love. You can also press the bell icon to never miss any updates from us. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into today's topic. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how to record desktop screens on Windows 10. By the end of this video, you'll have three methods to record screens in Windows 10. So let's get into our video. The first method we are using here is to use the game bar to record screens in Windows 10. Maybe you don't know, but Windows 10 has an Xbox game bar with a screen recording feature. You can either open up the start menu and search for the game bar. And the second way is to hit the key combination of Windows key and the letter G at the same time. Check the yes, this is a game checkbox to load the game bar. This is the procedure, whether you're screen recording a game or another kind of app. In the next step, click on the start recording button, or you can press a combination of the Windows key, Alt key and R key to begin screen recording. Now, if you want to stop the recording, click on the red recording bar that will be at the top right of the program window. You can press Windows key and G if you can't see the bar. And that's it. Your recorded videos will be saved in MP4 format under the videos folder in a subfolder called captures. You can also access these videos in the Xbox app under the game DVR menu. Another method is a workaround where you can use Microsoft PowerPoint to record screens in Windows 10. Microsoft PowerPoint has a screen recording feature. Did you know? If you have PowerPoint installed on your computer, you can record the screen easily. The first step is to launch PowerPoint and open a new or existing presentation. Now go to the record tab and click this screen recording option. You can see a select area option in this dock that is to select the area that you want to capture in the recording. Click and drag the selected parts that you want to record. Both audio and mouse pointers are recorded by default, but you can opt to switch both of them off. Click the record button or use the keyboard shortcut Windows key plus shift plus R to start recording. You can also use this shortcut to pause and resume recording. You can switch over to a different program or window and PowerPoint will continue to record. Once you've completed the activity and don't want to record the screen anymore, move the pointer back to where the dock was and it will reappear. Click this stop button to finish the recording. Or you can use a combination of Windows key, Shift and Q to stop recording. Save this recording by right clicking the still shot and selecting Save Media As. Now, choose the location and name of the video and click the Save button. So this is all you need to record the screen in Windows 10 by using PowerPoint. Remember, this feature was added to PowerPoint 2016 first and was also made available in PowerPoint 2013. You should have either of these versions or the latest version. If you're still using 2010 or an earlier version, make sure to update it to at least 2013 to use this feature. For the third and last method, it is recommended to use a screen recording tool like Wondershare Demo Creator. You can find the official link to download Demo Creator in the description. Wondershare Demo Creator is the leading screen recorder in the market with an impressive video editor as well. It really makes screen recording a total piece of cake with just a couple of clicks. You can record your screen, face cam, and add effects to your video in the editor. Let's get into how to use Demo Creator to record screens. Step one, all you need to do is launch Demo Creator after its installation, and this is what you will see on the screen. Step two, now select the start a record project and you'll see a frame on the screen that can be adjusted to customize the screen recording area. You can drag it inward or outward from its edges to set the recording area according to your needs. Step three, hit the record button whenever you're ready to start recording. Simply press the F10 button on your keyboard to stop the recording and press F9 to pause or resume. Step four, keep it running for as long as you need and once you're done recording the screen, you can open the recording in the editor to edit it or you can fast export it to your computer or share it on the cloud storage. That's all for today's video. I hope that you're now aware of all the ways that you can record your desktop screens on Windows 10. And if you found the video helpful, please give it a like and also subscribe to our channel for more great content. And if you know any other quick and easy methods to record screens in Windows 10, then you can share it with others in the comment section down below. Make sure to press the bell icon so you keep getting notifications for new videos. Thanks for watching this video.